Hi, Diane. Hey there. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure to be here. Awesome. We're going to chat a little bit about um, some of your community involvement, some cloud native trends, um, and a little bit about what you do outside of that. Oh, yes. Um, so can you start off by giving us just a brief introduction about yourself? All right. Well, my name is Diane Mueller. Um, I work at Red Hat. I've been there about five years now, and I'm the director of community development uh, for starting out with OpenShift for all the cloud platform. Um, I'm doing a lot of work extensively with the operator and the operator framework um, initiatives at Red Hat and in the Kubernetes community. I do a lot of the cross co collaboration with upstream projects like Prometheus and etcd and uh, all the wonderful projects under the CNCF um, and how they integrate with OpenShift and OKD, which is OpenShift's Kubernetes distribution. Awesome. So you have some great insight into the cloud native ecosystem. What do you think is the next big thing? The past six months, I've been sort of deeply immersed in it. Um, the operator framework, the, S the operator SDK, the operator lifecycle managed, everything operates. Knative is really popular too, the serverless and Istio stuff, but now it's really about how do we manage them and build them, and I think operator solves a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, so kind of going off of that, what do you think is the biggest challenge right now to building, adopting, and scaling cloud native applications? Scaling stuff, patching stuff, we've seen a few security things, and you know, making sure that you have enough automation built into your infrastructure, into, into Kubernetes, so that that is seamless and totally automated. Um, that's, you know, that's the challenge. I think coordinating all of the release schedules and the project um, features and functions is, you know, something that takes a lot of concentrated brain power on the part of all the project leads and the companies that are working on it and the contributors. It's, it's, it's a big coordination yeah. thing, so, yeah. It really is. Um, so you're part of our ambassador program for CNCF. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about why you want to be part of the program and some of your work in the community? Um, I think every community uh, needs to realize that it's not just the people writing the code um, or the documentation. It's, there's a lot of other people, like with the coordination of the release cycles and release management and all of that stuff, plus all of the interactions with the communities and things. And um, I think the Ambassadors Program really recognizes people's contributions on that level and it gives you know, CNCF a way to scale your machine and I host two meetups, one in Vancouver and Victoria um, with other people and I think by the meetups give us another way to interact with the community, to bring new people on board um, and to get that fire hose of information out. It's, it's an awesome community. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty rock and awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. All right. Take care and thanks. Thanks.